Well, we're back at the Forge of Empires on my Samsung S7 Edge Android. As you can see, we have several production buildings that I'm leaving and not going to touch because I'm waiting for this event. The uh, spring event, the cherry blossom stuff. And I'm trying to get, as you can see, I have a level 1, level 2 gong, level 1 entrance. I still don't have any of these pond ones, but I do have the Zen Zone one and a Sakura rock, and yes, you can yell at me for not being able to pronounce that. But I do have almost complete set of for that pond one, which would be nice. I only have one building that's actually upgraded, as you can see. And that's where that little void is right there to the left bottom. That's where the pond would go. I have gotten a hold of some nice buildings like this one, which is a color guard camp, and I already had this one. I don't know if it was shown before. Let's go down here. This is the drummer school. So that's pretty nice. So far, I only have one Hall of Fame, which is very helpful if it's powered up by other people. This will give you 90 crowns, which really helps out. As you can see, this guild I'm part of. We've gotten up to level 15. Once well, so we get up to level... It's 18. Yeah. Once you get to level 18, then your uh, your guild, your town hall, whatever, starts popping out. Two forge points every 24 hours, which is doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually does make a pretty good deal. Right now, what I'm involved in beyond the quest is trying to get all my great buildings up to level 4. Doesn't sound like a high number, but... It'll be a nice bounce for some of this stuff like this, which is gives you a little added resistance in defending and also metal production for your acquisition of properties. Uh, this will just pop up my civilization more and also uh, more production goods. This will increase attack and more money. This will increase my chance of possibly getting some cool stuff when we do the expeditions. And I just accidentally did that. Did not want to. That's cool. This will increase my, I think it was defense, oh, attacking. And also produces more forge points, which is awesome. It'll produce more when I upgraded that. That one's already up to level 4, so I'm not going to be in a hurry to upgrade that one. But these other ones that are below level 4, which that's level, that's actually 4. Yeah, I need to increase this one. This is below level 4. So I want them all up to level 4 at least. I think this one needs to go up to. This one I'm on. Yeah, this one's actually up to stage, which is good. You got these three guys over here, which are. That one's actually pretty high up. That one's pretty high up. This one is, yeah. So I don't have that many buildings to go up to level 4, but I want to at least keep them floating in the same area, so I don't have a severely depressed one. So this cherry blossom thing is pretty cool. You go and get points. Sorry, I don't have a lot to play with, but this is your screen if you finally load. You complete the quest event area over here, which I'm just waiting for more goods to develop. And then when you get those lanterns, they go over here. You choose which one you want to use out of the three. Now, it depends on how many lanterns. You only have six, so I can't use any. But if you do use the one with more, which is different, the more could be different numbers, depending on each time you do it. But you have a higher chance of getting that uh, particular building upgrade or building the best chance you have is when you do the highest number, but that does take up a bit. Every time you do cash out your nice little pieces of whatever these things are, lanterns, then it actually does go towards your grand prize, which I'm not really thrilled by this one, but yeah, it'll be something to put down and randomly get forge point, which would be nice. That's actually pretty good. I thought it was going to be something like money or something. I was like, I don't need any. So this is what I really want is that, but... We'll have to see if we can get it before it disappears on us again and actually get it this time. As you can see I have a few little things to do here. 
We'll look at the other one, the one in the Iron Age. This is the Industrial Age. Oh, and I actually do have uh, one building ready to go. I just need to get enough products. This will be awesome. It'll give you a better uh, quest rewards, diamonds, metals, everything. You receive an additional 50% plus more coins. I just have to get enough of these goods together. It takes a while. And then the other one I'm working towards is getting this particular one, the Alcatraz, which will increase happiness. But also the main part is I want, I have uh, four, I have all four of these military unit buildings unattached. So they'll randomly produce those every four hours without. So you'll have extra ones, not just the ones the buildings hold. That'll be nice. And then let's see. I'm going to show you what, I haven't really gotten much on the other, let's see, I'll log out of this real quick, see if we can do it. Sometimes it gets stuck. Nope. Okay. That was the uh, Industrial Age, this is the Iron Age one. This one only has two of the buildings. As you can see, load time isn't too bad at night on Wi-Fi. During the day, it's a bit slower. Let's see, where do we have our building? There it is. Okay, so we have two of the buildings. Not very much space, I know. I'm just put them there because that one does actually put a forge point out. And that one has the happiness. And this is the exact building I need in the other place. <laughs> kind of one of those annoying things. That's why I started a lower level because I missed out on several opportunities, it seems, since joining this guild. Not because it's the guild's fault, but because I didn't know about stuff. By starting out low and slow, and putting a lot more great buildings down. I have three down right now. And I didn't have any of that earlier. So as you can see with this, we're going to actually do the little exchange thing. Take two extra tiles. You try to exchange them for that blank space, which won't happen. Nope. There it is. In my experience, it very rarely happens. Try it again. Nope. We do you have another chance? Nope. Negative, Sally. Okay. So anyway, so just trying to get enough tiles for this one. It's going to take a little bit longer. This one has already a double, so it'd be nice to get some of these other ones, but I don't have them yet. But anyway, that's about the end of our video. Just an overview of just a few things and an update on how the game is going. Good night.